Okay, dance company forte. This is Miss Jen Nowak and her daughter Lola, and she is going to walk us through our new hairdo for 2018. Okay, so we're going to do a center part. So when you try and find the center part, you're going to go from their nose up. Tail combs work the best. They sell metal ones or plastic ones anywhere, Sally's or at Walgreens. Everything that I'm using, you can pretty much find something like it at Sally's or at Walgreens. So after parting Lola, she has a colic. So we're gonna work on that with gel in a second. In the center, I will take a little bit of gel, something that's not super hard and sticky and isn't gonna get really flaky, but it's going to hold. So I use Rusk Gel Effects. It's firm, strong hold, but whatever works best for you. So I'm basically gonna just smooth out her flyaways all the way down to the sides by her ears and then through the top. And I'll go back to that with hairspray when we're all done too. So with the part, we parted just a few inches back, right behind the ears, that's Pam. Mm -hmm. yeah. So almost like where a headband would go is where you're gonna stop. Perfect, so with the ears. With there the ears. Go. So just a few inches. So once you get your part in, you can start brushing. And this is just a goodie brush by Goodie Brand at Walgreens and it has smoothing bristles in it as well. So you can just start brushing it into your low ponytail. Trying to get it as smooth as possible. But I'll go back once I get her ponytail in and smooth it out with a smoothing brush. There you go. Can you hand me, can you reach that rubber band? Okay, these are, um, I think these are Scoochy, Scunchy brand and they have plastic inside of them. So they're gonna hold a little bit tighter than just a regular rubber band too. Putting the ponytail just a few inches from her hairline, almost even with their ears. I mean, everybody's ears are in different places, but you don't want to have it too low because when your dancer puts her head back, uh, one, it'll get messy, and two, it'll get in her way. Okay, so now that we've got her ponytail in, we're gonna use a little bit more gel and a smoothing brush to get rid of any bumps or flyaways. And sometimes with Lola's hair, I'll even redo um, the ponytail. Like once I've got all the gel in there, I, I'll take it out and redo it. Um, I try not to do that and try and get rid of the first time, but sometimes things happen. So using a smoothing brush, this came as a set at Walgreens. Or sorry, you can hold it up. Oh, there, there you go. The matching, <laughs> matching set. And I think it was $11.99, something like that. So I'm just going back through and smoothing out ridges and bumps. Okay, well, it was a little lumpy there, so I'm gonna take that pony back out and hold on to it tight. Sorry, Lola. Hold this down for me. And I think sometimes once you start to do the smoothing brush, you might get that bubble. Yep. But it's so, worth at least still smoothing it out. Yep. So, I mean, once we'll go back in and do it the the second time, I can usually hold it tight enough. Um, also, when you put your rubber band in, you don't want to pull that ponytail to make it tighter because that will also create more bubbles in there. You know, sometimes people will do this, that'll push all that back up. That's good to know. Yeah, because I see a lot of people do it and it'll, it'll make more bubbles again. So That's she's a got tip. a little bit here, but once I wrap her bun in there, We'll smooth that right down. Perfect. Let me look from the front. We'll smooth that down too with some hairspray. I try not to wet Lola's hair with a lot of um, gel, or some people like to do it wet, um, but for finer hair like Lola's, when I do it wet, I think you can see more of those comb marks. So I find that just having it dry and dampening it a little bit, and then just, you know, using a ton of hairspray works well. And when I do Lola's hair um, for competition, hers will stay 
pretty much all day. I'll just touch it up in between costume changes, really just by using my hands to smooth it down. And hairspray. Lola's favorite. She loves that, right? <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then I just spray the ponytail a little bit too, because that'll help with flyaways. And Lola, you're gonna hold these for me. Um, bobby pins, I like to get at Sally's. I, I, those I don't like um, from Walgreens. I think those stretch out, the ones that come in the little pack. The ones from Sally's, um, they make Diana brand, they make Flamingo brand. They make uh, the spray right here that comes in this container. Metagrip, these are great too. You can buy a whole box of them for like $6.99 and they should last you the whole year and everybody else that's next to your child when you're getting them ready. So I just twist the ponytail and I'll start wrapping it around, but I will start pinning as I'm wrapping. So my dancer loves to help me out and hold my, I like it. Hold my stuff. I use my thumb to open the pins. Some people put them in not open. Some people put them in upside down. It's really whatever works best for you and the hair type. So I'm just holding it and trying to secure it down before I finish wrapping it. This little tail we're gonna tuck in. Girls in the hallway today too in the video, of course. So I'm just trying to tuck in those little ends. Um, on Lola's hair with this, I probably will use um, a really thin hairnet. I don't have one today um, because we haven't used one in a long time. But what a hairnet will do is you just wrap it over the bun and it'll help keep any of these little pieces my head in the way oh, um, from flying out usually once you're, you're done with that you're done with it for the whole day so you recommend a hairnet if they're gonna have I think so flyaways or something yeah. but the ones that are they're that thin are thin very very thin you can buy those it's still yeah. a little tighter not yes the big not ones. the big one that looks like a fishnet that's stacking okay um, that your hair will pop out of okay. so you can buy um, different color hair nets. You want your hair net to match your dancer's hair too. Um, and you can get those at Sally's also. And they come in a two pack for like $3 or something like that. So if you had the hair net, they're actually big. Um, you can put it on, twist it, put it on again, and then just pin the hair net around the bun and you're done for the day. So I would probably recommend doing a hair net. Okay. So I've got a little bit of a little, little lump there with Lola. If we were at home, I'd probably take that out and redo it, but she actually does have to dance today, so she has classes. How's she look from the front? She hand? looks great. And I think making the adjustment, and like I was just telling Jen before she started, is we decided to go with the middle part because we think that it's the most natural look for most of the girls, and it'll be the easiest for you parents to do um, and not make it so complicated so everyone can just relax and um, practice this hair and watch this video to make it a little bit easier for everybody. So, so we take the stress away. Yes, it'll be much easier. And everyone will look great. Mm -hmm. So we'll just spray her underneath. Look down for me for a second, Lola. So yeah, if I had a hairnet, that would cover any pins. It would help with pins too. Um, you could also use hair pins instead of bobby pins. Sometimes I use those, sometimes I don't. Um, hair pins just look like this. Some people use only oh, hair pins. They're more open ones. Uh -huh. They're more open, and those also help to just cure any like little flyaways too. But I just put that in kind of a crazy place, just for fun to show how it went in there. Yeah, let me see you. Nice and crunchy, Lola. It's perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> that looks great. So from the front, she looks like this. Very good. Okay straight part and nice and slick everything's pushed down so we don't want a lot of wispies and then we'll take a little tour around Lola so it goes like right back and then there's her nice bun and as you can see the part stops right like she said at their ear that's beautiful so thank you Jen thank you Miss Lola